Hi everyone, Melissa here. I am back with another Halloween creepy inspired design. Um, today I'm going to be doing kind of like a, I don't know, like a, like a just clawed somebody, I guess. It's going to be kind of like a bloody, uh, bloody tips design. Um, I'm going to be using my activator with dip powder technique that I used to do blood splatter, the blood splatter last year. Um, but hopefully I can kind of improve upon my technique doing it. I wasn't completely happy with how it turned out last year, so hopefully it'll look a little bit better this year. And um, I'm really excited because I think this design is going to look really cool and creepy. All right, so my colors I'm going to be using for this. Um, this is my mixture of Double Dipped Scott Milk and Pure Pink. It is a uh, milky white and then a uh, like a jelly peachy pink color that I mixed together to make this kind of like milky nude peachy color. Uh, I just wanted something that was kind of close to my natural nail bed color so that it looks just like it's my nail. Then I'm going to be using uh, Crimson Vixen from Double Dipped and maybe some Cranberry Tart just for like a deeper red um, possibly some black pearl. I'm just going to be kind of um, seeing how it looks as I go and maybe adjusting if I'm not happy with it. Yes, I did do a test swatch, but you know, it, you know how I am. I, I'll do a couple and then I'll say, I think the next one I do is going to be my favorite. So I may as well do it on the nail. <laughs> so that's pretty much where I am today. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with Putting down this color I'm gonna do one full dip and then probably about one half dip um, I don't want to put too much on the tip because there is gonna be um, other colors there and I don't want to build up a whole lot of bulk at the tip I want to be able to file it and not end up filing off my design so I'm just gonna start with a full dip and then probably about half dip to to here on each nail All right, that's done. Now we're going to get into some fun. So I've got my Crimson Vixen here. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. This is just a true, like, primary color red. Um, and then for my activator, I'm going to be using this ASP Bioset activator. Uh, the reason I'm not using any of my other dip brand activators is most of the ones I have are very quick drying double dipped activator super super quick drying um, and I need an activator that doesn't evaporate quite as quickly so that I have a little bit more time to work with the uh, color before it really sets and hardens and this is a little bit slower um, in drying time so I'm going to be using this I'm going to be using 
This is just a, a little old brush that I have. It's not in beautiful shape, but it doesn't need to be. Kind of has this like flat tip, so it's nice to work with for this design. Um, I don't even remember where I got this, unfortunately. But here's a label on it just in case you're able to find it or maybe I can try okay so I'm just gonna open this up and this brush fits right inside so I don't even have to pour anything out luckily because it would evaporate pretty quickly if I did um, I can just stick the brush right in which is what I'm gonna do stick the brush in and then I'm gonna pick up some of the powder and then just quickly come to the nail and start moving that around onto the nail now um, it does start to set pretty quickly, like I said, and the more powder you pick up, the harder it is to push around and to manipulate. So you just want to barely dab it in there, get plenty of activator on, barely dab it in, just pick up a little bit of powder, and then it's a little bit more uh, movable, kind of fluid. Okay, I'm kind of do that idea on all of the nails with this red. Okay, so I've got this uh, this brighter red down, and um, I've focused it mostly kind of in the middle here. I'm not really like going heavy on the tips with this one because I want to kind of go darker um, down towards the tip of the nail, a little bit darker as I go. Um, I'll probably even add a little bit of black at the tip, but for now we're just going to go with the Cranberry Tart. This is a very quick process. Um, I've probably been applying this stuff. On the nails for about three or four minutes. I mean it goes pretty quickly so luckily this is a nice fast uh, process. So let's see what this color looks like. I haven't actually tested this color in the design on swatch so we're going to put it on them first to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah it looks gross. Cool. Gonna use that to kind of deepen the color more towards the tip. Get a nice dark, kind of like really dried, crusted blood kind of look. Okay, at this point I'm just going to do a couple dips of clear over the top of this, that way I can activate and file. You, won't, you will not be able to file um, directly onto the uh, layer that is just activator and dip powder because it is not strong enough. It doesn't harden the same way because it doesn't have that resin base in there, which is the true, true, true um, part that hardens the dip powder. So if you're going to be using this process with the activator and the dip powder, you do have to encapsulate it pretty much. So go ahead and do a couple dips of clear. Another thing to take into account is that because there is activator right here, you may want to give it a couple minutes before you start doing anything over the top just because the activator can contaminate your base, your dip base. Uh, that's what it's there for. It hardens it. It starts the curing process. So give that... It's good to give it a couple minutes to dry just to make sure you don't contaminate your liquids.
Okay, so I've got them all filed um, and I wiped it down with alcohol just so I could take a look at how it looks. And I kind of want to add just a little bit more um, dimension to the tip. Just like give it a little bit more darkness right at the tip of the nail. So I am going to be using um, my Micron pen. Just be using my uh, 0.45 mill millimeter. I don't need huge um, tiny detail. Huge tiny detail. That makes sense. I don't need to <laughs> tiny detail for this because uh, I'm just going to kind of be going around at the tip, adding a little bit more darkness. And I'm just using my finger just to smudge it out a bit. Putting a little bit of dip base just over the end here because that kind of like seals the pen down before I activate it. So the activator can make it run. Alright, I'm just gonna activate in the top coat. All right, and there we go. It's a nice, uh, creepy, Halloweeny, uh, bloody nails there. Um, yeah, this was fun, and it was a relatively quick process, so that's always good. I don't get a lot of those these days. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and that you think these nails turned out pretty good. Let me know below, and I'll see you next time.